Okay, today is, uh, what is today? What is uh, the date today? Raise your hand if you can tell me what the date is today. Zane? 19th. 19th of? 19th of October. Uh-huh. And so today we're going to turn over the next square in our calendar grid. We have been paying a lot of attention to the patterns that we see with our calendar grid today, with the arrays in our calendar grid. What is one pattern that you know of right now? Anthony? On the high end names, I found that it, on all the yeses, all the squares, it's one times one, two times two, three times three, four times four, and five times five. Excellent. Good, so it's going in a pattern of just adding one on each side that way. Annie. Oh, the green, green, purple, green, 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 purple. Good, so you see a pattern with the colors. Mm -hmm. Anna. Um, on the height and length, the second number goes up four times, then takes away two, then goes up four times, then takes Okay, so when I put, because hey, you can, why don't you stand up, but I don't think you'll be able to reach. So, but explain it as I go down. So we start here. One, two, three, four, take away two. Two, three, four, take away five, take away two. Three, four, five, six, take away two. Four, five, six, seven, take away two, five, six. Ah, so if that's the pattern, what do you think today's will be? Um, on the second one, you were saying the length. What do you think the length will be? Seven. seven. So you think the length will be seven. Good. Any other predictions, Tanya, or anything else you see in the pattern? So there's a pattern with what, and what are those yeses, what do those yeses represent? When, when, when we put a yes, when are we putting them in? Griffin, when do we put the yeses up? Um, after or three days, three days after or a yes. Okay, so three days after there's not a yes, but why do we put a, what yes, or what question are we answering with the squares. yes? Squares. Squares, whether or not the array makes a square. Good, so is today going to be a square? No. 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 What color is today going to be? Green. Carrie? Green. Green, because that would follow our pattern. Anna, will you please pull? Recover, uncover, 19. And there it is. What color is our calendar piece today, Jet? Green. Green. How many squares up does our calendar piece go, Emmeline? Two. Two. What is the length of our calendar piece today? Zane? Seven. Seven. And is it a square? No. no. I'm going to ask somebody to come up onto our magnetic board here and recreate the array just as it looks today, although not in green. You're going to do it in blue. But what, how it looks. While they're creating it, I want you to think about how many squares total are they going to need? Don't shout it out, but think in your head. If, it's a, if it goes two up and seven over, how many total squares are they going to need? Anthony, come on up. How many do you think you're going to need? Nine. You're going to need nine total? Yeah. Okay, I want you to take that number in your head and use these onto here to recreate the array. 
Griffin? I think, I think it's going to be a 14. You think it's going to be 14? Why do you think it will be 14 and not 9? Because 2 times nine? 7 is 14. Because 2 times 7 is 14. Where do you, how do you know when you're looking at that? How do you know that it would be 2 times 7 is 14? It Emily? says 2 times 7 up there. Because there's two seven. There's two rows of seven. So two sevens is fourteen. Good. Anthony, how is it coming? Okay, so Anthony has what Emily was saying, two rows of seven. Anthony, will you please mark the dimensions on the array? Like how many? What's your height? And what's the length? Good. So how many up do you have? Two. Two. So why did two? Like just like down below. Okay. And how many over do you have? Seven. Seven. Excellent. Good job. Taylor? Okay, we're going to move on now and look at our mystery bag that we have here. What can you tell me that you already know about the mystery bag? Carrie, what's one thing you know? I know that there are three colors that are red, yellow, and blue. So you know that there are exactly three colors? Not exactly, because there might be more. So there are, how would you say that? For now, we know that there are three colors. Okay, so there are, how about at least? There are at least three colors in our bag. And they are red, red yellow, and blue. Is there anything else that you know for sure right now about our bag? Okay. Jet? There can possibly be more red than the other colors. Good. You just made my transition for me perfectly. There could possibly be other things. What are things that you think are probably true about what's in my bag? Eric? There are more red than blue and yellow. Why do you think there are more red? than blue and yellow in my bag. We'll pick more red than blue and yellow. Because so far when we've picked every day, there have been more reds that have come out of this bag than blue and yellow. Good. How many yellow tiles do you think we'll pick, Allison? Two. Two? Oh, we think it's a lucky day for yellows. Andy, how about you? I don't think we're going to get any. You don't think we're going to pick any? Okay, let's see. Zane, pick us a tile. And you got a blue. 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 Thomas, pick a tile. You got a red. red. Lindsay, pick us a tile. A red. So what do we have so far? Red, red, red. 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 Red and one blue. Kira, pick us a tile. And blue. Hey, that was true. Two blues, two reds. No yellow. No yellow. Oh, he was true. I feel bad for you. <laughs> okay, so we're almost, we have just a week and a half before the true mystery is solved of what we actually have. 